Hello everybody, this is Eagle to Angel again, and I uh, was doing some caving, and I found a zombie dungeon um, down in the caves, and as I was coming out, there's the pillar I built to go right up on top of the other one. I ran into this one, which is right on the surface in the dungeon, and uh, there's these two village spawners, village one two village zombies that I are stuck right here and I was thinking about or I was hoping that maybe I could uh, keep them in there and hopefully they won't despawn and I'm going to run back to my base and grab some uh, potions and golden apples and see if I can cure them. So let's see if I can make it back to my base. I found seven diamonds, uh, 35 gold, a uh, stack and a quarter of lapis. Um, yeah, I was lighting up some more of the uh, uh, abandoned mine and a bunch of the caves. I also, where that pillar is at, is a spider spawner dungeon and it's surrounded by the abandoned mine shaft with I think three or four I can't remember there's three or four of the um, cave spider spawners now this is interesting I thought that the slimes were only supposed to spawn in um, the swamps, but I've been seeing them everywhere there's water. So apparently the demographics are that they spawn in water, whether it's in um, the desert, in the plains, um, they pretty much will spawn near water. So also on the other side of my village, not village, I mean base, where I'm going to build the village, where the chickens, <clears throat> excuse me, where the chicken uh, breeding pen is, there I found another zombie spawner and, or dungeon, zombie dungeon and a skeleton dungeon. So, what I'm trying to decide is, whether or not I want to abandon the zombie spawner that I have in our original area and just work with the three I have here or make that one into some kind of a uh, what do you call it some kind of XP grinder or what I'm not sure what to do at this point in time um, let's see, let's put this stuff in here. This stuff goes in here. Oh, and I ran into another zombie that dropped another carrot. Uh -huh. Okay. So, I need to get some more chests, I think. We'll go ahead and stick these in here. I'll show you what I've been doing in the nether, but I used up my pickaxes and uh, I needed to go get some more diamonds and in the, pro in the process. So I've used this one up and I've used this one up, which I, I got a fortune on that one. And I used this one up and I got this one, which ain't too bad. And uh, you broke my other sword, and this is what I have now. So, uh, let's see. Go ahead and make these into blocks. I might go ahead and put my iron that I have, since I have so much iron. I might start putting it into block form. Just to save some space. Um, but I'll do that after I get the uh see if i can work on those two zombies 
Now hopefully they will change at the same time. Otherwise they will turn each other or turn the other back into a zombie. They will infect each other. So I'm just going to put the extra bucket. Yes, I found a lot of chests in the abandoned mine. I'll go ahead and put these in here. I can't put them in there. Let's put them in there. Okay. Oh, wait. Got a couple more bottles there. We'll go ahead and refill those. Put them in here with the other ones. And this goes in there. Uh, I need to make some half slabs. Put these in there. space for those? No, there's not. So let's move these redstone stuff out of here and put it in there. I'm going to move those over here. Because I'm actually going to use those in building some stuff. So <clears throat> I should have put the smooth stone over here too. Or That's alright. I'll fix it later. Alright, let's grab these two guys and we'll grab... Nope. Nope, don't go up the stairs. We grab our golden apples and we'll head on back over to the zombie spawner and see if we can purify those two zombies. I'm also going to um, hopefully show you where that skeleton spawner is and the other zombie spawner. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to set up those spider spawners because I like the fact that you get all the strings and I'm going to need a lot of string. Oh! How are my boots doing? Ooh, of course I lost my helmet again. <sighs> okay, whatever. For some reason the helmets seem to be uh, less durability than the rest of your outfit. So they break faster. And so yeah that right below this pillar I think it's 40 blocks down is the other zombie spawner and as I was digging up I could hear them and I was digging around trying to find them and I was like where the heck are they and then I got up here and I looked over and there they were right there and I was like oh cool so and then I noticed that oh really Really? Did they despawn? Oh, they did despawn. Oh, man. I didn't know they would despawn. Huh. Oh, well. Darn it. I was hoping they wouldn't despawn. So it sounds like there's another one stuck in the wall, so maybe maybe he's a, um, a villager. Are you a village? Infected villager? No, you're not. Darn it. Alrighty. Hmm. Alrighty, well, let's see if there's any chests in here. Yep, there's one. Oh yeah, I remember uh, telling you guys that I was going to make a sand generator. 
Well, I went to my test world to um, test to see if they had changed the programming and they fixed that glitch. So the sand generator that I was going to use um, don't work anymore. So I will just have to do it the old fashioned way and collect it manually. So I'm going to go ahead and block this off like this, but it sounds like they're able to spawn outside the... reach of this room, which I'm not sure where she's in at. It sounds like he's over here. Is he underneath? Sounds like he's right here. That's a little too loud. Okay. So it does sound like he's over here somewhere. the spot where I was digging around trying to find these guys. Where is he? Yeah, look at this. I just dug the heck out of this place. Yep. And there's the other one. Right there. So, yeah. <sighs> okay, I'll go ahead and light this up. Oh, light this up so I don't get any more spawning in this area. I'm trying to set this up so that I can make my um, mob trap. And eventually I'm going to go find a witch hut and make that. Um, but for right now, I am probably going to work on these two. See how many? See, that's one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spaces below. So I could actually set those, I might be able to set these both up to where they both spawn and drop into the same um, kill area. And then I get double the uh, spawn rate from. Um, these and the cool thing about spawners like this is if you have everything um, lit up around you and you stand next to them you can get maximum amount of spawns so you can actually get more spawns from this than you can from a mob trap but you get more creatures from a mob trap if you set it up right you can get um, Skeletons, creepers, uh, zombies, spiders, endermen, and you can get the drops from all of those out of the trap. 
if you set it up right. <clears throat> you can also set it up to where it's just the two high mobs or you know with the spiders we have definitely enough spider spawners and now we have three zombie spawners we have two there and one over there and we have at least five spider spawners one um, regular spider spawner and at least three or four uh, cave spider spawners all within the same area I mean when they're they're within 10 blocks of each other right below this one and this this is right on top of the spider dungeon and then I'll take and show you where the um, other spawners are at so I'm actually thinking about abandoning abandoning blah, 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 abandoning our original area and making this our permanent base and I may and, and I may end up making a house or some kind of something out of that there because I, I really like how that looks and it's already a natural type structure so I, I may make something out of that um, and just make this like our barn area uh, and um, then I'm also going to take and make a strip mine over underneath that nearest mountain yeah so we can get emeralds and things like that so right below here which is right next to the chicken breeding pen is the zombie spawner and then uh, go down here Sounds like he's right here. Yep. Oh. Nice. Thank you for destroying everything. Oh, I hate creepers. So, anyway, the skeleton spawner is actually right over here. Speaking of skeletons, where is he? Around here somewhere. Now, I always get, I always get turned around when I'm doing this. There you are. So it was. Is it down here? No, it was this way. Yeah, it's right down here. Okay. Let's we'll see. Yep, a skeleton. Right. Yep. Okay. So that's going to be a good XP. Plus, we'll get unlimited bones and unlimited arrows, and um, bows. that we we will have unlimited bows as well so I'm definitely going to turn that into an XP grinder um, and I think I will uh, film it but I'm not going to commentate on it I'm just going to film the building of it and then put it in the middle of a, a video or at the beginning or something like that on a time-lapse type thing um, just so you do, nobody has to um, go through it. I, maybe I, I might end up, I might end up building it on video, just just so you guys can see how it's done on a survival basis. So I'll decide on that, and then I'll go from there. Uh, and um, on the next video, you'll actually see what I decided to do. So, let's see, go ahead and 
go into the nether and show you what I did there as well. Okay. So, I'm still trying to decide, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to abandon our original area, which is at this portal here. But, I'm going to keep the portal there just in case I wanted to go mining. I could make a uh, XP grinder out of it um, just to have it there. This is pretty cool. Come on, guys. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> oh well. So anyway, I decided that this area over here has a lot less <coughs> um a lot less area to cover. Um and I made so I made another spawning platform for this. Will it wither blah, blah wither skeletons and I'm going to make it a five layer high um, as well I actually went with a pretty nice design I thought it turned out really well and uh, I'm going to put half slabs on all of these and to minimize the spawning and I'm actually going to take and blow out all of this with uh, dynamite and uh, or TNT and I'm going to put in all of this as well as another layer it seems though that they like to spawn on that bridge that I come in on more than they do over here and it's possible that it's this fire because uh, wither skeletons hate the light they will not spawn if the light level is at a certain so see the light level here is 11 oops and the light level over here where they're spawning if you see it drops clear down to zero so I need to and this is where they spawn most of the time for me is right here so light level between one and um, or zero to three I found is where they seem to spawn the most so beings that my light level is so bright over here clear up to level five even that uh, and of course it's because of the gas um, always shooting and then dog yep there, you, there we go again. Yep. Every time I start working on this, those darn gas show up. Start shooting fireballs at me, lighting this place up. And then, of course, I've got to go and take care of those guys. And then I get stuff broken and I can't uh, stay in the nether. I run out of potions and all that fun stuff where, did, where is it burning now oh it's up there okay so our light level now is one here so it is possible that they will start to spawn on here if I can get rid of all this light this should should spawn because this this area where the white is solid is actually where the walkways used to be and then you go nine like I said before and then you fill it out and it should allow for spawning 
on the whole platform they should spawn so let's get rid of this light down here as well and then of course if I take out all of this um, nether rock so that the zombie men won't spawn it will increase the spawn rate for those skeletons so yeah now see all the light level is zero so this should stimulate uh, spawning and of course he's going to start that oh, arrows, yes, I do. See, that's, that's another reason why I need to get this enclosed. Um, this is kind of how I was planning on doing this. I'm going to put a ring around the whole outside of it. I don't, don't have any half slabs with me, so I was going to show you. Of course, this is going to be the bottom of the next layer. And I'll stack, in a, I'll stack slabs on top of that to make the next layer. And then I'll close this off. I'll, I'm going to run a pillar all the way up to the top on either side. And then maybe put ladders to get to each level. And then I'll make it so that I can come in and out here. Oh, oh hey, 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 there we go. See, I'm, that's another thing too. Is I, I plan this out. Or I mean, I counted this out. And it's possible that I might be able to increase the size of this platform on there and in there and in here because it is part of the um, platform and the withers do spawn in there so as you can see and so I added on to this little section here and I'm thinking about adding into here oops and uh, just leveling this all off and put in and putting the spawn pads in here as well <clears throat> so actually I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because that actually is not good for spawning roots what oh, okay I did not know that So let's go ahead and level that off. And I'll take care of that lava later. But if I'm going to make the floor level this high. That way it makes it easier to make the other two levels. Oh. I love gas about as much as I love creepers. Oh, you dirty... have any fire resistance potions so I'm not going to be able to deal with those gas or I mean my blaze so I'm going to go ahead and head out I did work a little bit on the other um, skeleton spawner as well we'll go ahead and head over there and show you that as well Oh, and I'm playing with the idea of putting a, a, a rail in here. And I worked on this tunnel some to make it look nicer. And I've got this all set up so that I can put a rail all the way to the spawner. Or the pad. The skeleton pad. The weather skeleton pad. Um, wither pad. There we go. <laughs> Sounds like something you'd use for cleaning. Oh, I can get rid of this now. I don't need that. Um, I also marked out this area um, for another wither pad. And this is exactly what I was talking about. I marked it out 9 by 9 on each one. And then I'll put the floor in and make it level. And I 
looked around and it looks to me like there's not as much uh, open spaces above or below so the spawn rates will be higher here than they would be on this other one and of course where the dirt is that's a nine by nine also so I'm gonna I'm this actually is gonna be a test area um, to see if I go nine by nine by nine and I'm going to map out the and see if the spawning rates are just as good um, I aggroed some of these guys when I was here last time so I want to be real careful and I don't hear any withers this time I really didn't work much else on this uh, I did put in some half slabs over here to uh, keep them from, for, from spawning in this area and also put these two chests here for storage and I started half slabbing everything up here and that's when I decided that it would be easier to put the withers pad in the first area than it would be in this area because there's so much open spawning area that is going to be hard to get rid of plus full bulky areas that I would have to destroy whereas in the original spawning area or in the original area that I went to oh crap Mag, I always go right and I should go left. So. This makes it a lot nicer than trying to run over the soul sand. Because soul, soul sand slows you down. Try and say that fast ten times. <clears throat> so yeah, soul sand slows you down. And, um. So I decided to fix this area so that it was good for the track and walking so yeah this I think is going to make a way better spawner because there's a lot of lava around the whole thing so there's less spawning area I just got to take out that whole section right there and what's around it and maybe expand the spawning area to encumbrance the whole uh, fortress which isn't very big the fortress is only right there where you can see and then of course um, on that end over there is the two uh, blaze spawners which I'm gonna incorporate together because one's right behind the other and then bring them into the overworld mm. So let me know in the comments um, if I should keep the original base and work on the zombie spawner sorting system in the original base or forget about it, make it a XP grinder maybe, and, or, or, uh, he always changes. changes direction well, usually I'm pretty good at hitting these guys it's almost like I can't hit him at all whoa okay why can't I hit him There we go. I'm oh, usually really good at hitting these guys, but Darn it. 
That's how I'm losing my stuff. What? Another one? Wow. They usually don't spawn that fast. Alrighty. Well, does a harm potion work on these guys? For weakness? That's another thing too, is I need as many gold nuggets as I can get to make the golden apples for, um, I've seen a zombie standing over there, to make the golden apples for my purifier. So, anyway, I'm going to, um, work on getting some more, uh, of my smooth stone and finish off those wither pads and so i will see you on the next episode thank you for watching and have a nice day and i will see you all on the flip side